muli po, magandang umaga ulit sa ating lahat ha. Ngayon po ay tutuloy natin kung paano mag-solve ng linear system in two variables. Okay, so the solutions of systems of linear equation in two variables. So before we proceed to our lesson, so kindly like our video, subscribe our YouTube channel, and click the notification bell. Okay? So, in solving uh, systems of linear equation to work, uh, so we have uh, three kinds of uh, how to solve this. Okay? So, we have uh, by graphing, by substitution, and uh, by uh, elimination method. So, here are the steps in solving equations by elimination. Okay? So, right the system so that the like terms are aligned see, see to it that the variable to be eliminated have the same numerical coefficients otherwise multiply one next is to eliminate one of the variables and solve for the other variable by addition or subtraction then step three substitute the value solve to any of the original then the last step write the results in steps 3 and 3 as an order pair x and y then check so for example solving this system negative 2x plus y equals 2 then negative x plus y equals negative 1 okay so as you can see so we are going to subtract the equations to eliminate y since they have the same numerical coefficient okay so we have now negative 2x or that is uh, negative boy in huh? negative 2x so we have x is equal to negative 3 then substitute the value so the ordered pair is negative 3 and 4 okay so this time let us have another example so for example we have 3x minus 2y equals 5 and 3x plus 5y equals negative 2. Okay? So, therefore, we have to subtract both sides of the equation. Okay? So, we have now 3x minus 2y equals 5 kung so subtract po natin so it will become negative 3x then it will become negative 5y then it will become positive 2 so kung napansin nyo po nagbag yung ating sign ng second equation then this time ia-add na po natin sila so cancel na po to then it will become negative 7y then the other side is positive 7. Then divide both sides by negative 7. So cancel y is equal to negative 1. Okay? So to get the second or the value of x, pwede po natin gamitin yung first equation. Okay? So 3x minus 2y equals 5. Okay, so therefore, we have 3x minus 2 times the value of y, negative 1 equals 5. Then, 3x, it will become now positive 2. Okay, the product of negative 2 and negative 1 equals 5. So therefore, we have now 3x is equal to, transpose to the other side, magiging negative 2. So, it will become positive 3. Then, divide both sides by 3. So, x is equal to 1. 
So therefore, our solution set is 1, negative 1. Okay? Let us now check. So to check, to check that, let us use the second equation. So 3x plus 5y equals negative 2. So 3 times 1 plus 5 times negative 1 equals negative 2. Okay, so we have now 3 minus 5 equals negative 2. So both sides are equal to negative 2. Okay, so therefore, the solution set is correct. Negative or 1, negative 1. Okay, so let us have another example. So next example is... 2x plus 3y So, raise po muna natin yung ating board So, once again, we have 2x plus 3y equals 8. Then the next is 2x minus 3y equals 0. So, madali lang itong ating example number 2. Okay? So, sa ating example number 2, subtract na po natin siya. So, cancel na po itong y. Kasi po siya ay 0 na. So, it will become now 4x equals 8. Then, divide both sides by 2. So, x is equal to 2. And then, to get the value of y, let us use the first equation. So, 2x plus 3y equals 8. So, 2 times 2, the value of x plus 3y equals 8. So, we have now 4 plus 3y equals 8. So, 3y is equal to transposition. Transpose po natin yung positive 4 magiging negative 4. So, 3y is equal to 4. So, therefore, the value of y is 4 over 3 or 1 and 1 third. Okay? So, therefore, our coordinates or the solution set is 2 and 4 over 3. Then, let us now check. So, to check that, let us use the second equation. So, 2 times the value of uh, 2x minus 3y equals 0. 2 times the value of x is 2. Minus 3 times the value of y, 4 over 3, equals 0. So, we have 4 minus, so it will become, so makakancel na po siya, di ba? So, kasi 12 divided by 3 is 4, 0. And both sides are equal to 0. Therefore, the solution set is correct. Okay? Solution set is 2 and 4 over 3. Okay? Another example. So, sa tingin nyo, mas pinakamadali na itong elimination method class. Sa lahat ng solving of linear system. Okay, so ito na pong num number, ano, number 3. So, raise lang po ulit natin. Or 
number three we have five x plus nine y equals three and negative three x minus nine y equals negative nine. Okay. So we have to subtract now both the equations. So it will become 2x. So makakancel na po siya, 0 na. And then it will become negative 6. Divide both sides by 2. So cancel, x is equal to negative 3. Okay? Then to get the value of y, so solve for y. So let us use the second or the first equation. So 5 x plus 9y equals 3. So 5 times the value of x is neg which is negative 3 plus 9y equals 3. So we have negative 15 plus 9y equals 3. So 9y is equal to transpose to the other side magiging positive 15. So it will become now 18. Divide both sides by 9. So y is equal to so therefore our solution set is negative 3 and 2 ok so therefore now let us now check so to check that let us use the second equation kasi ginamit na natin dito yung first equation so negative 3x minus 9y equals negative 9 so negative 3 times negative 3 Minus 9 times the value of y, which is 2, equals negative 9. Negative 3 added to neg uh, multiplied by negative 3 is positive 9. And then, negative 9 added uh, multiplied by 2 is negative 18, equals negative 9. So, as you can see, both sides are equal to negative 9. Okay? So, they are... So therefore, our solution set is correct. Okay? So ganun lang po ang pagkuhan ng solutions of systems of linear equation into variables. So kung may pansin nyo nga po, pinakamadali na itong elimination method. So muli po, sana po ay nakatulong itong aking video tutorial para makapagsagot kayo ng ating learning task sa week 8 which is solving linear systems so once again don't forget to like and subscribe our youtube channel and click the notification bell